Welcome. Today I'm going to do a video on how to check the trim function on your Windows 7 installation. As well, I'm going to show you how to enable and disable the trim function. Um, first thing is, I'm going to show you a utility um, that you can uh, download. It's called Trim Check. Just type that in your search thing there and you'll notice that I clicked on the third link down there which is uh, belonging to a site called the cybershadow.net um, you click on this trim file save it in the root path of the SSD you want to test my case is the C drive is my SSD what you want to do is run this program just follow the instructions in the window after it finishes hit enter you'll want to wait 15 to 20 seconds if you run trim check a second time too fast it'll return with an error because it needs a few seconds to set up its test file which is this file here it created when we first ran it we're gonna run it a second time again and as you can see here conclusion trim appears to be working so now what we'll do is we're going to take this file and we're going to move it over to my second SSD. We'll paste it here as well. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this exceptionally quick to show you how it returns the error if you do it too fast. And as you can see right here, trim appears to be not working or has not kicked in yet. So this is as a result of running it too fast. As I said earlier, you have to give it a few seconds. And too quick again so let's just give it a few seconds here to do its thing and yeah you're gonna make a liar out of me okay so let's delete this actually and let's run this again Like I said, give it 15 to 20 seconds. And there you go. Conclusion trim appears to be working. Just takes it a few seconds to propagate itself and set itself up. So this is how you can check to see if the trim function is enabled. If for some reason it returns and says to you that it is disabled or not functioning properly, what you want to do is go into your BIOS and check to make sure that you have the AHCI mode enabled in your BIOS, the Advanced Host Configuration Interface. Um, what that does is it allows the controller chipset to communicate with system memory. Um, some guys believe that the stock Windows Aki driver or MS ahci.sys is actually superior to the AMD SATA uh, version driver. Um, I would tend to disagree. Um, if you're finding that result, there's some type of installation issue. Uh, Intel Aki versus AMD Aki, um, they both um, are slightly different in their approaches but end up with the same result sort of in the end. Um, however, uh, the registry entries, uh, if you're doing any research on Google, you'll find out that they're slightly different for Intel versus AMD, so the locations of certain things in your registry will be in different spots or named differently to keep that in mind. Once again, make sure that the Aki mode is enabled in your BIOS if uh, when you run this and you find out that it's not enabled. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to also show you from the command prompt how you can check enable and disable so what you want to do is open up a command prompt uh, with elevated privileges um, what you can do to get your command prompt is hit the windows r key for the run dialog box and in that box type in cmd enter once again keeping in mind it has to be elevated uh, at the command prompt what you want to do is type fs util sorry i got butterfingers today guys behavior 
query because we want to check the status. Disable, delete, notify. And as you can see, it returns a zero, which means the trim function is enabled. If you wanted to turn the trim function off, you type fs util space behavior again, set, disable, delete, notify, and a one to turn it off. And to verify that it's off, we're going to use the query function again to check. And as you can see, it's off. So now we're going to restore it. Zero turns it back on. And just to confirm, we're going to query it. and it's on. So once again, I can't stress enough to you that you have to make sure um, if when checking that if it returns a one here, meaning that it is disabled, you'll want to make sure that the Aki function in your BIOS is enabled. Um, another thing to keep in mind is that a couple of reboots will probably be required uh, after you enable it. Windows will load the corresponding drivers, generally msahci.sys it'll load, unless of course um, you point it to another driver. Um, the other thing to keep in mind is that you could potentially have a boot problem, meaning uh, that after you enable the Aki mode and go to boot up into Windows, uh, that it doesn't fire up your Windows. In that case, what you'll want to do is restart, go back into your BIOS, disable the Aki mode function, reboot, go into your Windows, and you'll have other um, issues that are preventing you um, from engaging the Aki mode. Um, Anyways, I hope this video helps. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to post them. I do get back to everybody. Um, and no question is stupid, so please, anything. Um, as well, if you like the video, please um, give me a thumbs up on it. All support is great and welcome. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day.